Look at that wreckage. I'm amazed they're still making them like this. They? This looks like a standard fighter jet, but it's actually different. They've done a lot of things to reduce the number of parts and cut down manufacturing costs. Without sacrificing the plane's strength and performance. Very cost effective. You could make three planes for the price of two this way. Who's this they you're referring to? North Osea Grunder Industries. Formerly the South Belka Munitions Factory. Run by the Belkan government. But Osea's taken over that land now. South Belkan technology is being used for Osea. Why does Yuktabania have this? Good question. Actually... <clears throat> speaking of Belka... Osea recruited some Belkan flying aces after the war 15 years ago to strengthen our air force. You know about this? No. Really? An aggressor squadron comprised entirely of Belkan aces. Our old enemy. Well, that's the rumor anyway. Even an old fox like me isn't sure they exist. I bet the current administration isn't even aware of the story. Before the Ocean ground forces can proceed into the Yuktabanian capital of Sinegrad, they'll have to deal with Kruk Fortress directly in their path. The robust defense of this fortress has stalled the advance of our armies for the past five days. If this situation continues for much longer, it will give Yuktabania time to complete preparations for a counterattack. We need to take the fortress and enable our ground forces to reach the enemy capital as quickly as possible. To do this, we will launch an air attack on Kruk Fortress. Our last attack sortie fell prey to their anti-aircraft guns and air defense fighters. Deal a decisive blow to the fortress and its surrounding air power, and support the ground forces as they penetrate the complex. Open the door to Kruk. The day of Sinegrad's liberation is near. Captain, which plane should I use? This formation may not be effective against enemies in the air. Do you still want to launch? War Dog, launch! Pilots, check your plane and prepare for refueling. One mile to refueling craft. 500 yards to go. One hundred yards to go. Fifty yards to go. Blaze, maintain your current flight path. Perfect, Blaze. Commencing refueling.
Osprey's we keep hearing about. Radio intercept team! Does the enemy have something hidden up their sleeve? Our air support's from Sand Island, so don't worry about a thing! Enemy facility confirmed destroyed. Box 2! Enemy tank confirmed. 
The so-called impregnable fortress fell in half a day, and the momentum of the Ocean army had reached a peak. Its final stronghold lost, the Yugtubanian army was setting up a barricade in the urban area up ahead. The next battle could see a lot of bloodshed, with innocent civilians caught in the crossfire. However, the men and officers of the Ocean army were optimistic. They thought, as long as the three fighters from Sand Island were taking part in the action, things would turn out all right. They have become the center of the army's strength now. 